As Rockford City Council members were set to consider a proposed multi-million dollar housing development, but due to absences, those discussions once again pushed back. Taylor Castro is at tonight's meeting. Taylor, this isn't the first time this item has been laid over. No, it's not, Tom. This vote was laid over after the passing of Alderwoman Linda McNeely. Now that Jeff Bailey represents the 13th Ward, it was brought back, but we'll have to wait a few weeks before any decisions are made. At the developer's request, due to the number of aldermen who are absent tonight, I would move that we lay this item over for two weeks. The future of the 14-acre field on South Avon Street remains up in the air. The project would transform vacant land on the city's west side into a residential space. And our hope and plan is that it becomes a vibrant community, a vibrant community that, that commu uh, continues to contribute or will contribute to the overall overall being well-being of the city. In addition to the apartments and other units, developers intend to include a mixed-use commercial building for entrepreneurs and businesses, plus family resources like a child care center and social service area. But one alderman says the benefits go beyond these services. The, uh, the community is going to benefit because it's going to impact economically. They're going to bring more business. They're going to bring uh, more taxes. They're going to bring more service to the area. So it's, it's, the uh, community is going to benefit. A big issue has been the environmental condition of the property. Soil disturbance can create erosion concerns, potentially causing water quality problems. The native wildlife would also be disturbed. It is a clean property. We have a no further remediation letter from the state of Illinois, the EPA. And as a banker, we would not be able to get financing for this project if it were, in fact, contaminated. My family lives a half block away from this development. I would not be looking to support something if, if in fact, it, it had issues in terms of environmental concerns. If passed, the project will take three years to complete. It's just a good hope from nothing to build houses, new buildings, commercial space, and uh, green areas. That's what we need. The item was laid over for two weeks for the meeting on August 21st, which makes it two months since it was first introduced. Tom?